Hey, what's up YouTube? Lisa here, giving you another tip of something that you can do with your Pilates Magic Circle. I'm gonna show you three things that you can do to add to your mat workout to spice things up. All you need is your mat in your Magic Circle. Push pause, get all your equipment. I'll see you back here in a minute. now that you have all your stuff let's get started on the mat so we're gonna do legs with this today so I want you to lay all the way down align yourself with the back corner of the mat and put your bottom ankle on the pad lay all the way down your other foot on top and your other hand just in front now go ahead and check to make sure you're all the way back from your butt to your head aligned with the edge of the mat. Now that we're there, look forward. Bring your bottom toe to your nose, your top foot step on the gas. And exhale and squeeze that ring down and lift. Now as you squeeze that ring down, that hip doesn't move. Pilates, one of the principles is control. And controlling your body it's very hard because a lot of times you want to use momentum. And in Pilates, you want to have control over that. One more. And release. The next one, I want you to take your foot out, stick it inside the magic circle, and bring it back out and bring it on top. Stick it in. Your hip doesn't move forward or backward. Right back up, find the pad reach and hold. Now take the foot inside and let's trace a circle. Find the bottom, find the top of the ring. Now see if you can't keep that ring still as an added challenge. Mine moves just a little. When you try to go up toward the top, avoid that pad. One more and reverse. Now the leg that's moving is still pointed. You're stepping on a gas pedal. And the bottom foot is you're trying to bring your toes to your nose. It's not how big you make your circle, it's how far you can reach with that leg. One more. And lower. Come all the way up. And let's switch sides. Align yourself up with the back edge. Now, if you're uh, a beginner, you typically don't want to use tools because it'll make it a little harder for you. But if you've been doing Pilates for a while and you wanted a, a little challenge with the magic circle, this is a great place for you to start. And let's get set up. Exhale as you squeeze, inhale as you lift up. With Pilates, you want to make sure you get all the basics down. It's like building a house. You want to have a solid foundation before you start building those walls, making things more complicated. And reach. One more. And let's play that game inside the ring, up to the top. Now one side may be harder than the other, and just pay attention to that. If this is your harder side, you want to do this one again, because if your leg is weak and moving all over, you want to train the harder side twice as hard. Last one. And hold. Bring it back in. Let's do the circles. Down, around, find the ring. Now let's see if you can't keep it a little steady. In the classical Pilates world, we typically use the ring for advanced beginners or intermediate students to help you close the chain and give your body some feedback so you can see if you're hugging your center line, your magic circle will help give you that feedback. Last one. And lower all the way back down. Place your leg right back on top. Now to release the ring the fancy way is you can roll it back and roll it forward and let it fall. Come all the way back up. I'm going to show you one last one, the shoulder bridge. Now place your feet inside, 
pull it up like pants, lay all the way back down. Now the pads are just above your knee and your feet are about a fist apart as well as your knees. Take a breath in as you peel your spine off the mat up to your shoulders. Now roll down your sternum first, your belly, finally your sacrum, and inhale up. Exhale, press the ring apart. Inhale up. Find your feet, all the weight in it, all in the ball, the heel, the arch, the whole thing connected to the mat. One more. And lower all the way back down. Pull the ring off, like taking off pants, and you are done. So those are just three simple things that you can do to improve your mat workout with your magic circle. Two things with your legs and the last one, shoulder bridge, focuses on rolling your spine to get every vertebra to connect with the mat. Think of it as rolling your spine down and popping grapes. So each vertebra needs to pop that grape on the way down. And the pressing out helps give your knees feedback into the magic circle. Hey, if you want to learn classical Pilates, join us over on the Fit Club. I have workouts from 10 to 55 minutes to help you get stronger, more flexible, and decrease your low back pain. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on your mat next time. Have a great day. Bye.